it was so cringe at points like you know when you're like cringing when you're watching a movie and you just have to like get up like this because you're like oh my god like i literally cannot watch this i'm cringing so hard hey guys good morning welcome to vlogmas day eight today is literally a day filled with meetings it's like almost 11 and i've just been in meetings literally all morning i am afraid it's gonna be another relaxed and chill but not relaxed and chill day for me at least it's gross here in montreal today it is so gloomy and just nasty out i'm not leaving the house that's for sure later today i'm definitely gonna make like a hot chocolate i'm gonna show you guys like how i make my cozy hot chocolates uh, during the winter season especially before christmas it's one of those days where i'm gonna want to watch a christmas movie for sure i watched my first one yesterday which was called uh, a castle for christmas i think with um brooke shields it's a new one on netflix it's about like this author who goes to ireland and she buys a castle overall it was super cringe like all hallmark kind of like christmas movies super cringe literally it was so cringe at points like you know when you're like cringing when you're watching a movie and you just have to like get up like this because you're like oh my god like i literally cannot watch this i'm cringing so hard there were definitely moments like that but overall it was cute uh it's definitely not my favorite i probably probably wouldn't watch it again um alone at least like if someone really wanted to watch it i guess i would watch it with them but it was just okay it's not my favorite so yeah it's gonna be a cozy day in and uh we'll, we'll find some fun things to keep us occupied today so before my next meeting i'm just going to start editing another vlogmas so that i can get it up i'm gonna see you guys in a bit when i'm done editing and when i've finished my next meeting and i'll probably go eat a little something <laughs> day you guys i'm like so freaking tired and just ugh. i finished um pretty much working for the day it's 3 30 um i just sent some invoices to clients um and for collabs as well and i finished uploading the vlog for tomorrow for vlogmas and then i also had meetings uh today as well my skin is not cute today you guys i apologize but i just don't feel like putting anything on it so please excuse down here i'm gonna make a hot chocolate and just cozy up on the couch for literally the rest of the day because i don't know if you guys can even hear the rain behind me but it's pouring and it's all gonna turn to ice probably this week which is just so not enjoyable i thought i would show you guys what i do to make my hot chocolate because it's definitely super extra um it's nothing like crazy but but i just thought i would show you guys since it's another like pretty relaxed day today so first things first you get your festive mug other snowmen one are dirty or like they're drying so i'm gonna use this one we've got our festive mug you fill it up with whatever milk you want for me, I just use lactose-free, 0% skim milk. I'm not lactose intolerant. I just drink lactose-free. I don't know it's out of habit, though. I'm going to fill it up, I'd say about three quarters of the way. And you obviously want to heat your milk up, so I'm going to go put it in the microwave. And then we wait for the milk to heat up. But in the meantime, we're going to go get 
the hot chocolate mix. So, Carnation is the best hot chocolate. It's a non-negotiable, you guys. It's just, this is the best hot chocolate. It's, it is what it is. And then we have our bag of mini marshmallows as well. You guys can use regular size marshmallows, but the mini marshmallows just really hit different. So I suggest trying them because they melt in the hot chocolate. And it's just, oh my God, it's so good. So mini marshmallows. And then obviously we want the whipped cream, lastly. This stuff is the best. So I don't really have a brand I like. I usually go with this one. I don't know why. Gay Leah. Gay Leah Leah. Gay Leah Leah. Not too sure. But it's three through three. You take your hot chocolate mix. I put two full tablespoons in there. Um, and then I try to taste it just to see if it needs a little bit more. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes this is like a pretty big mug. So I'm assuming it's going to need a little bit more. And then you just mix until all the powder has gone. This looks so good. Okay. So, oh no. Next step is to add the whipped cream. And the key is to add a crap ton. So please don't judge me. So now that we have half the bottle, we can add the marshmallows. Voila, there's your hot chocolate. Cheers. Alrighty guys, you know what time of the day it is. It's time to do the advent calendars. Like always, let's start with chocolate. So, ooh, today's goodie is very similar to yesterday's, except it's an angel. But this one's also going to be hollow like yesterday's. These ones are still good. I feel like I'm going to say that every every day of the month because lint, all lint is good. Chocolate. is Luxtan. Oh my god, this one's so cute. It's a hand cream, but cherry blossom. This is so cute. I love the little art on it. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then last but not least, we have our tea that we need to pick for the day. So. Today's tea is frosted cereal. Ooh, I don't know about this one. This is the first one that I'm seeing that I'm like, mm, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Although David's Tea has yet to disappoint me because all their flavors are so good, but frosted cereal, I don't know. Hey guys, it's a while later. I've, I've literally just been binging Christmas movies all afternoon and night, but I made my tea for the day. So I wanted to review it like always. It smells amazing. That I'll give it. So this one I wasn't sure about, um, but it smells really good. So I'm intrigued. Oh my God, it smell. I think this is actually probably the best smell smelling one yet. <laughs> I could never be a food critic. Cause I literally have, I think I've reviewed every tea every day and I've just been like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I just don't know how else to describe it. This one's really good too. Definitely not as good as the white bark one, which was like two days ago, I think. But it's still really good, you guys. I highly suggest checking this one out. So I'm going to call it a night, you guys. I will see you tomorrow for the next Vlogmas video. Bye. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Mrs. Dodd.